today with the help of this animation let's learn how the schematic symbol for control valve is derived and how a three position four port valve actually works control valves are represented using square boxes you can see the square boxes coming up so those are the square boxes which uh, are used to represent the control valve. So each square box represents the positions, position 1, position 2 and the position 3. So the number of boxes in the figure specifies the number of valve operating positions. So if we have 5 boxes, we have 5 positions etc. Here we have 3 boxes. So it's a 3 position valve, a 3 position control valve has been represented. And now you can see the pipe works towards the control valve. The pipe works are normally represented in connection with the box which represents unoperated condition. So here the unoperated condition is the position 2 where we have all the ports will be blocked. Let's see it. So hydraulic circuits are normally represented in the operated conditions. So this is the unoperated position which is the position 2 and those are the pipe works all there right uh, now as we are clear about the positions let's learn about the ports so uh, let's see the ports so those are the ports in position 2 and you can see all the ports are blocked port 1 2 3 and 4 so we have four ports in a single position so let's see in every position we have four ports each you can count it 1 2 3 4 in each position we have four ports in each position and these arrow marks show the direction of flow position 1, position 2 and the position 3. So it is a 3 position 4 port valve. You can count the positions down. It is 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 positions here and we have 4 ports in each position. So it's a 3 position 4 port valve and that's how uh, the name of the control valve is derived or how we represent a control valve in a schematic representation. Now let's see how this valve operates. Uh, there is no flow at the current position that means at the center the position 2 there is no flow because all the ports are in blocked condition you can see there is no flow happening because it's in blocked condition you can see the red color because it is getting pressurized because there is no flow happening then what happens when position uh, 1 aligns with the pipe so let's move that's the position 1 when it aligns you can see there is a chance of flow because the pipe is connected there's a flow happening in both the direction and you can see that's how the position one of a control valve get aligned and the flow is happening and the same way what happens when position three aligns with the pipe let's see that so that is position three and when it gets aligned the flow is getting reversed so that's how it works so that's what is position three is doing so um, we believe you enjoyed learning it you understand how a three position four port valve works and how does the schematic representation of a control valve is also done for doubts and tutorials uh, you can request please drop a comment we'll definitely respond to it you can also ask for any particular tutorial videos or technical information that you request uh, through the comment we will be definitely making uh, good and uh, easily understandable videos for your benefit please click the subscribe button for getting tutorial video updates it's free please feel free to like comment share to motivate our team thanks for watching this video have a great day